My name's Paul Dockerill. I'm the Divisional Director for Thomas Vales for Regeneration. We've been working with one of our stakeholders, uh, Shellforce, um, who supply windows to us on the Birmingham Mobility Council League to help develop their sustainable future. And we've been able to bring in uh, supply chain members to help support financially and to also develop the future. Most businesses these days have a corporate social responsibility aspect to their business and with the nature of the works that we carry out at Thomas Vale, we're very community linked and we're very people orientated. And what we try to develop is working within the communities and the supply chain to help support different initiatives. The reason we chose Birmingham Mobility Count is because we felt business as a whole needs more awareness of people that perhaps have disability that we can help introduce into the workplace and create employment opportunities. The unique opportunity of, of working with Birmingham Mobility Counts is the fact that we can provide free business support, if you like, to take it to a different dimension. Financial support is a, an easy commitment in a short term, on a short-term basis. However, on a long-term basis, it, we can offer free business support. And the plan that we've put together with our supply chain is to create a sustainable future for Birmingham Mobility Counts. So there is a five-year commitment from our supply chain members to support uh, BAC. It's, you have to be genuine about committing uh, to an initiative like this. It's not a short-term fix to just come in and, and offer a financial background. It's actually committing time and passion yourself. And coming down to the Birmingham Mobility Counts League and seeing the boys and girls playing football in the way that they do, it naturally brings out the passion within you to want to support and develop. And each time we've brought supply chain members to support, they've, they've gone away with that full commitment. The, the product's out there and, and it's the product behind me really in terms of what brings the passion out in people. This is why we're involved with Birmingham Mobility Counts. It's the impact it has on the boys and girls that play the game, that look forward to coming here every week, getting involved with the game and also pulling the shirts on of the respective football clubs that are involved. Uh, the, the fantastic support of Aston Villa and putting the facility on and getting uh, people from all over the West Midlands to actually turn up on a su Sunday morning in the, qu in the volume that they do to actually enjoy the game of football. And it's always been the working man's game and it's a fantastic communication tool and it's helped support bringing people from different abilities together to enjoy the game. The model that we've tried to create with Birmingham Ability Counts, we feel is a, a model that can be rolled out uh, across the country, whether it's with construction companies uh, similar to Thomas Vale, or whether it's with business, businesses as, as a whole. Part of the Thomas Vale commitment to Birmingham Ability Counts has been to incorporate 12 other supply chain members. And it's not just been Thomas Vale, it's been those 12 other members as well. But they're all signed up to a charter uh, for the next five years so they can see the added value to their businesses as well and they understand the value uh, to the boys and girls that are playing the game. The people that are involved with what goes on already they're the drivers and they're the people with the passion and commitment. The added value to it is trying to support them in different ways by sharing best practice and experience. One of the elements that Thomas Vale have been educated in is to see that the ability that uh, the boys and girls have is that they are ready for the workplace. It's the workplace that needs to be educated to take in people with these special abilities. And what we've been able to do, we've got two uh, case studies within our business at the moment where we've been able to incorporate two people in um, with disability within the workplace and it's been a very enjoyable experience in many respects because it's been very, a very simple process, however it's worked successfully for those particular candidates. The additional skills that are created by coming along to play the football is communication and confidence and those are the basic skills required to transfer over to employment. So it's not just about the football, although it's a fantastic vehicle to getting people into work.